So this is a Commodore MPS 803 printer. I picked it up a little while ago. It's a very low cost, very low quality printer that Commodore used to sell. And when you say low cost and low quality, that means it's a piece of shit. But they used to sell these, I guess, by the millions, as well as the Commodore 64s. When I first got it, the ribbon was extremely dry and it really wasn't printing. So I used an old technique which is to open up the ribbon cartridge, you take off the top cover to expose the ribbon, spray some WD-40 on it, and then you use a screwdriver to advance the ribbon so it starts to soak up the WD-40. I used a little bit too much, so there's a little bit of grease still laying around. Now, I used to work at a printer repair house, repairing printers before we would throw them out. Nowadays, you throw them out when they break, but we used to repair them. And I have to tell you, this is one of the worst printer ribbon mechanisms I've seen. It's just hideous. You have to wrap the ribbon around this blue thing, and it's just horrible. Anyways, I'll put the cover on. On most dot matrix printers, when you press the line feed button and turn it on, it runs a self-test. And since there is only one button on this printer, called the paper advance that is the line feed so I'll turn it on run a self test and let that run for a little while and you'll see the print quality is pretty lousy I don't know if that's because the ribbon's pretty lousy or the printer itself is pretty lousy probably a combination of both Yeah, you can see how the different, how it changes, so it's still working some of that WD-40 through the ribbon. Anyways, I'm going to turn it off, and then turn it on, not in self-test mode, but in normal mode. And I wrote a very small program on my Commodore 64, and I'll run that. Ooh, it's very exciting. Basically, it just does a 4i equals 1 to 10, and then does a print i. And I'll also uh, I'll do one last thing. I'll send the output from the screen to the printer and do a list. I forgot to close the printer, so I'll just turn it off, turn it on, and there it is. And you can see also some of the some of the ink coming through again because I put too much WD-40. So I'm just going to run it, let it mess around for a bit. Hopefully, it'll absorb some of that WD-40 back into the ink and not look so bad. Anyways, that is the Commodore MPS 803. This is the Commodore 64 color. There was a later version of the same exact printer in gray, which they sold for the plus four computers. I guess they had lots of stock left, and they needed to dump them. Anyways, bye.